Ludworth Vigan here, back with another episode of Crusader Kings 3. We are back with Dan Valentine, Valentine, the precursor to all of the Valentines that have been in service in the American military. Today we're going to be trying to solidify our position to get our lord, who is a duke, into a kingdom title. I want to get him the kingdom title of Ireland or of Alba, and we'll see what I'm talking about there here in a moment. And then we can create a duchy title for ourselves, or he can give us a duchy title. But I know there are some duchy titles that we can create that we have uh, the de jure counties for. So uh, our oldest son is uh, he's getting ready to uh, become a young adolescent. I think he's eight now. So. Uh, a few more years and he'll be ready to, to start joining in to some more activities. And then our other son, Bjorn, we haven't done much with him. Uh, let's grab him a spouse. And I want to get an alliance because we're going to need some additional power here. He is five. I think we'll take this seven-year-old that is from Jorvik. So we will renew our alliance with the Kingdom of Jorvik, which is here. It's a pretty decent kingdom, size kingdom here. Jorvik is, uh, he's got 3184 troops, so that's a pretty good alliance. Uh, we do have some other alliances around that we might be able to take. They are a little, oops, didn't want that. They are a little further away. Yeah, he's up in, in Norway. Um, I think this guy is as well. Yeah. So I'm thinking Norvig is our best choice. They're, they're close by. They're powerful. We are related to them still. <laughs> in fact, uh, our wife, Saga, is the sister of the leader of Norvig. And this is his daughter so our children are first cousins get married <laughs> there's they are related and there's a 4.6 percent risk of their chilling brian inbred <laughs> they're they're all for it they're like yeah go for it oh lord i don't know if i want inbred family members um so maybe maybe we'll wait on that little alliance i was hoping to get a really strong alliance it looks like all these alliances close by are not too strong so what about, what about down here in these uh these kingdoms uh They don't have kingdoms yet. Okay, what about uh, Mercia? Do you have any... He didn't really like me very much. If I send you my son... I don't send him my son. If I put up my son, you do have a daughter. She's not great. He's not that powerful, but he is close by. And I might get dragged into all his wars. What about uh, what? Gwyneth? We've had a little bit of run-ins with him since he was allied with some of our Irish foes. Okay. He doesn't have anyone. Okay. What about Palace? Oh, he's got that as well. Okay. He's got all kinds of wars going on. Hmm. What about Mercia? Oh, I already checked Mercia. What about Wessex? He's a youngster. He does have this lady. She's a lowborn. Wouldn't give her it. Wouldn't give her some alliance. Okay. <sighs> well. I hate to I hate to do that. I'm not I'm not gonna do an inbred 
an inbred marriage. At least, not a chance for an inbred marriage. Our Lord just beat um, the king of Alba for some titles here. So I think the Duchy of Albany is not yet created. Oh, okay. So maybe he's not the maybe he's not the leader of Alba yet. Let's just take a look. Yeah, he owns Albany though. In fact, he owns all of this area except for Moray. So um, he might be able to create the title of Alba here. Let's see. Strotcleet still needs to be taken, and Moray needs to be taken. He's got all the rest. So is he a claimant now for the thing of Alba? No, he's not. He'd have to create his own claim. So, either he goes after Alba or he goes after the Kingdom of Ireland. But, uh, so I think we're going to take Ulster because Ulster is weak at the moment. And I think we can do it. I think we can take Ulster. He's only got 777 men. And, uh, he does have an ally, though, of Gwyneth. I have an ally as well, but they are far away. Hmm. Ah. Maybe Ulster's not a good target then. Maybe Ulster's not a good target. Maybe we should go for Leinster. He's got no allies, only a thousand men. Meath. He's got no allies, twelve hundred men. And Connick has got 1,217 men, no allies. Or maybe Leinster is the most. Okay, so it's Leinster it is. All right, so we got a vessel fit for a chieftain. Chieftain's longship says much about him. It tells how rich he is, how successful, what image he wishes to project to the rest of the world. All right, I, I need to commission a new ship. The Leviathan to cover, cover my spoils. My army loot capacity is plus 50%. Or 20 terrified vassal tax con contribution. I don't have any vassals at the moment. Well, that's too bad. Uh, my diplomacy level could go up. Or I could just lose stress. I don't really have any stress at the moment. I have quite a bit of money. I'm, I'm going to go for a, a Leviathan, I think. Get that... Uh, get that extra loot capacity. Although the diplomacy wouldn't be bad either. <clears throat> it's only for 10 years. I wish I had vassals and then I'd take the, this one. But I don't have any vassals yet. So, um... So, 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 so. I'm going to say I don't need one. I'm going to save that money. Because when I want to create a title, it's going to cost me money. Like, for example, the Duchy of... It's not a Duchy. Let's go here. The Duchy of Munster will cost me 125 gold. If I have to create that myself. So I'm going to say I don't need one. Okay. We are ready to start our next war with Leinster here. He's being raided. That's a good time to do it. Let him fight those guys off. And I got another new guy recruited here. Oh, Lord. He's got excellent martial... But he's not a very good uh, good prowess, so I'm gonna go ahead and recruit him to court regardless. That's expensive. Look at look at this guy, freaking champion. All right, let's take a look at our council right quick. He could be a good steward or a good chancellor, really. I'm gonna replace my current chancellor because this this guy likes me. The other guy doesn't even like me. 
So I'm going to pop him in there. I know he's a little better than my current Marshall, but I've got a good relationship with him, and he's a knight. So I want my Marshall to be somebody who can fight, you know? So that, that'll be good. All right. Um... Yeah, keep giving me more prestige. That'll be good. All right. All right. I think they are done with their war down here in Leinster, almost. He's almost got him beat. Doesn't matter. We're going to go and declare war. Conquer the county. Possibly 75 prestige. We are now at war. Let's go ahead and raise our troops over here. The Leviathan. It behooves the chieftain to spend time at sea with the salty air in his face and find vessel beneath his feet. Today he sees my personal craft and a small escorting squadron out for drills, practice, and pleasure. The short voyage has become an exhilarating change of pace from life at court when we spot it, a distant plume of water, followed by a small island of wine-dark flesh rolling out of the waves. The greatest beast of all the deeps, a whale. Oh, I can gain a hundred gold if I slaughter the whale. Gain 50 if I let others. Or I can let it go. It'll give me a lot of stress because I'm brave. And it'll give me some prestige. But I'm going to get the harpoons. I want it myself. I'm a hunter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, booey. Okay. We got the whale. That's good. We got our troops. 1,300. Let's move on over. Time for us to go smash Leinster. We're going to get ourselves into trouble here <laughs> with all these domains. People aren't going to like it, uh, including my liege. He might not like it, you know, but he can't do anything about it right now in that he can't grant me a duchy title because he's only a duke. So if we're in a no-win situation unless he can get a kingdom title, which is what I'm trying to get for him. I'm trying to help him. Let, help me to help you, my friend. Okay. Leinster. It's doing good. Offer of guardianship. Whoa, okay. I would like for your son and heir, Dan, to be raised by Mormor Yogan, a skillful guardian. Why? He'll become Norse Gale. Which I, I don't mind on that. This guy does have good high marshal. He's an aggressive attacker, rough train expert. He wouldn't be a bad ward. I do, since he's my heir, I kind of want to guide his learning. Do I have him set for marshal? Yeah, I do. If I decline, he'll lose 15 opinion of me. Man, dude, I, I want to raise my other son, my own son. So, he's my heir. If it was Bjorn, I would do it, but. Now, I need to stay, I need to stay on his good side, don't I? I need his help. Yee. I mean, he can't, he can't ruin his education, right? I, I'm going to accept it. Against my, my, there he goes to Angus, okay. He's traveling. You can see him traveling here. Hopefully he's got a good entourage with him. He's just a wee lad. War against the tyranny of Jarl Gudfrid. Yo. Oh. That pulled into an alliance war. Okay. My son has safely arrived. Very good. All right. All right, so now I guess I can be his ward. I think I already am. I've got him doing intrigue because he's got a he's got a, an affinity for it, looks like. I still haven't found him a wife. So, we'll see. Alright, let's finish this siege. And then we, uh, maybe we can smash these raiders. 
we'll have all of the coast down here. What about Oriel? I didn't look at Oriel. Do they have any allies? No. And he's raiding our lord there. I'm going to take Oriel as well. I want this whole coast. And then we'll focus on the, this, these other provinces later. That's fine. We're, we're going to blitzkrieg this place. We're going to blitzkrieg this place. Oh, heck! Who is this? Who is this? Trying to throw your weight against us. 169 men? Come on. Jeez. Being raided. What? What are you doing? Are you raiding our, our lands in Brifney? Yes, he is. Uh, who is this? Who are you? We're done paying taxes. If you grant a tax lien, I'd lose 50 prestige, not prestige, but whatever that is. Legitimacy. My control level will change by minus 75. Dang. No thanks. Every county in the faction. Control level will change by minus 25. Jeez. Who, who are you? Peasant Revolt. Oh my god. From Thalmond. First of all. Get this mofo killed. Alright, let's uh start and get our schemes here. Invite some others to our schemes. Nobody wants to. Come on. This is Bishop. <laughs> I could send him a gift. Or try to sway him. Eh. Let's just cancel this. Eh. It's not worth it. Alright, well, we'll just go against... We'll just fight these freaking peasants. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's over here. Okay. We'll finish the siege and then we'll go deal with him. Good lord. Peasants. What's his army look like? 350? Okay. Alright, let's go fight him. Let's finish this war. Yep, enforce our demands. Alright, now we have... Uh, uh, what is this? What is this place? Leinster. Okay, so let's grab our prisoners. Imprison them. Let's see. Corn cob here. Uh, I guess I'll leave a hook. Get a hook for you. And Bater. I'll do it for ten gold. Sure. All right. My glory is widely known, yes. For how long, though? Oh, look! Look, it happened! Yes! My lord has granted me the High Chieftain of Mon. Yes. My power grows. I am a duke now. Fantastic. Hold on. Let's look at ourselves. We are now a duchy rank realm. I guess he took the kingdom of Alba. Now, yes, he's got a crown now. He is a king. He's got the kingdom of Ireland. Alright. My, my plan worked. Fantastic. Okay. So now I'm a duchy. I can start attributing some titles to some of my lackeys. So I do want the duchy of Munster then. Right quick. So here... The Duchy of Munster. I want this one to be mine. It cost me 125 gold. Okay. I'm going to do that. Alright. So now I have the Duchy of Munster. And do I have enough over here to get... A Duchy? Duchy of Leinster? I only own one. I need this one right here. Which is currently a part of... Meath. Okay. Alright. Oriel is part of which Ulster. Okay. 
and Brifni is probably part of Tonic. Okay. All right. That's great. Okay. So I need to grant some titles. Uh, let me finish this war right quick. I guess these peasants. And then I'll grant some titles to uh, to some people. And that will be good. Really just depends on which duchy I'm trying to get. Man, this my plan is working out great so far. Got him. Okay, where's those freaking raiders at? Are they still around? Nah, they're gone. Okay. I guess we can enforce our demands here. Fantastic. Okay, let's disband our army. Okay, we can finally have some peace for a little bit. I've got too few concubines. <laughs> I'm getting a penalty because of it. Okay, I can create the Duchy of Leinster. I know that. Um, but I can't actually. You're lying. I don't have enough money. So we have to do some raiding. But first, first and foremost, let's take a look at ourselves and get ourselves a concubine. Our spy master could be a good concubine. I don't want a child from her. I think she's old enough to not have to worry about that. So, uh, we do have a medium chance still. I'll take her as my concubine. Oh my god, she did not like that. Not one little bit. Okay. I'll send a, a, a scheme to make her like it. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to be your concubine. It's just for show. Nobody else will be my concubine. Nobody wants to be my concubine. Okay, well. To the loathsome Dan. Nah, uh, she hates me. She can't find Ziggers in King Charles' court. Charles the Bald of West Francia. Okay. Continue to find Ziggers for now. Alright. Let's take a look at our titles. We've got lots of titles here. I want Desmond for myself. Ennis. Ormond and Thalmond. So if I get Ormond here, I could grant it to my son. Or I could grant it to one of my one of my lords here. Including my concubine. Oh no, she can't she can't hold land. Okay. Alright. Oh what? No, I didn't mean to do that. I just wanted to see what it was. Oh, Who's this? Okay, well. Are you one of my knights now? <laughs> he's a powerful vassal. Okay, well he's not bad. In fact, I could grant him my Marshalship. He is a powerful vassal. Okay. Right, there we go. Get him in there. Now my powerful vassal is appeased. Okay. He remains on the council. He's a glory hound. Okay. It's fine. Alright. So now I need to give away two more so we'll do a Thalmond. I'll grant that to uh, my Chancellor. Hold on, is he a knight? Oh, Smokes, no you are not a knight. Let's get him out of there. His name, Augmander. Okay. Down here. Do not fight for me. Thank you. I'll go ahead and get this guy in, even though he's trash. Okay, Broggy, forbid him. This guy's trash too. I'm letting him fight. He's terrified. 
Okay. This guy's awful. I'm gonna allow him now that he's no longer my chancellor. Okay. Allow him to. Okay. 14 out of 15, that's good. Okay. Fantastic. Alright, so this guy, I'm gonna grant titles. And I'm gonna grant him the title of Thalmond. Okay. Oh, don't want to destroy a rune stone. How about Ennis then? Okay. Yep. Take Ennis. That's good. And we'll grant one more. I could do something over here. Could do Leinster. Or somebody else. Build it up. Well, I could do my steward. Have the people on my. That's, yeah, that'd be fine. I'm gonna have the people on my council have titles. That'd be good. Alright. Fantastic. You guys build those places up now. Alright. Now I'm back in my domain limit. Not gonna be penalized like I was. That's good. Notable guest has arrived. Oh, heck yeah. 20 gold. Alright, I'll do it. Now I've got a full cadre of knights. No, not yet. Alright, do I still have my blackmail hooks on the king of... Nope, I do not. It's a different king, matter of fact. Must have been his parents that I had the blackmail on. <laughs> okay. It's fine. Okay, man, I feel great uh, about what is happening now. Back down to my defense limit, you can see I've got 2,010 uh, levies now because uh, of my successes. I can create another men at arms regiment. I've got light cavalry, bondy, and bowmen. I'd love to get some either armored ho footmen or huskarls. Huskarls, freaking tough. They would give me some screen. I think these guys give me screen as well. These light horsemen, yes. They give me a little bit of everything. Vigman. Warriors in the front, present to an impenetrable wall of shields to protect archers in the rear. Oh, interesting. But they're there to protect the archers. Okay. I think I'm going to go for something tough, though, like Huskarls. Okay. Yeah, let's get some Huskarls. I'll create them. And we'll station them in... Here. There we go. Fantastic. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of my prestige to go ahead and increase them to size 2 as well. And I'll be just barely pulling in any prestige. So I'm going to be careful about that. I do want to go ahead and expand my territory while I'm hot. While getting's good. He's raiding. He's going to pay for that. He's going to de wear declare, war declare it on him. Okay. We're going to raise all our troops here. And we are going to go to war and smash the crap out of him. Strategical impasse. I'm sitting on the map table with Sigurdur and Ogmunder discussing our strategy. He eagerly points out all the prime targets we should immediately send raiding parties to pillage while Ogmunder explains why we need to watch what our foes do and respond accordingly. I know how we can employ both. Yes, do both. All right, let's go. Let's go smashing. Like all of our current council are landholders now, except for our spy master. She can't be a landholder because she's a concubine. <laughs> all right, we got him. Attempted murder. Oh, while performing her duties as my spy master, Sinus has uncovered a secret held by Duke 
Baldwin of Flanders. He was a man behind a failed murder attempt against King Charles. Oh. Interesting. Good secret finding. I could try to blackmail him. It's not shunned or a criminal for, for the Duke. Wow. Okay. I can't even blackmail him for it. Well, that stinks. But I guess I still have a hook on him? Or, I don't. That stinks. Okay. Alright, uh, I've already beaten the, uh, the enemy arm here. It was easy. My hook on this lady has expired. Alright, he's no longer employing me as master of the hunt. That's rough. I've been, uh, demoted. <laughs> okay. Alright, I got a new martial perk. I'm almost ready to get absolute control. Okay. How about I get prepared conscription? And uh, we'll be on to get overseer. What what all does overseer give me? Extra martial, extra stewardship, control growth, and plague resistance. That's great. That is great. Okay. Almost got Oriole here. Oh, yeah, we do have it. Okay. Let's enforce our demands. Fantastic. Okay. I can disband my army. Send them home. Now I can get rid of one of my demences. The Earldom of Brifney. I don't get rid of it. I could just get rid of this one. Who should I grant it to? I think I'll give it to Oliver here. He's my courier. Why is he not my steward? <laughs> he might soon be. Okay. Look at our council. Yeah. Chieftain Sterla of Leinster. Oh, man. He's not going to like that if I grant him a boot. If I give him the boot, he's not going to like it. Well, that's, that's too bad, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and give him the stewardship. This other guy's not going to like it. That's okay. Okay. We look at my realm here. At my vassals. Hey, everybody still like me? Yeah, everybody still likes me. That's good. good. He's not happy because he's a... Uh, He's a powerful vassal. While performing her duties as spy master, Seness has uncovered a secret he held by King Charles of Wentz, Francia, to have Duke Heinston murdered. Oh. Well, isn't that something? I can blackmail him or get a weak hook? Wow. Okay. I want money. Okay, I guess I'll get the blackmail. Alright, I got a, I got a hook on him now. What can I get? Arrange a marriage. Offer hostage. Do you have anybody? Good. For my son. Bjorn. He's got some old ladies. Really? All my hooks have been worthless so far. Okay. Any factions against me currently? No. That's good. Am I on my lieges council still? Yes, I am. I'm his marshal. Okay. Alright, so now we have basically two more wars, three more wars to fight in Ireland to completely control Ireland for ourselves. And uh, we take a look right quick. Ulster's probably the weakest, although they do have an alliance with Gwyneth, which is not great. Meath is definitely the weakest. 
and then and then uh, Conic here. So we'll, we'll do Meath next, then Conic, and then I guess Ulster, and, uh, and then that'll be good. Can I form an alliance with him somehow? Declare me regent. <laughs> and offer him a. I can claim his his title. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? That would be interesting. Declare me regent. He will do it. it cost me five hundred prestige. Holy cow! And then all of, all my fellow vassals wouldn't like it. Hilarious. Okay. Oh man, he's one legged. Jeez. He lost a leg. All right. Well, this uh, this episode has turned out quite well for us, I must say. And uh, I could go ahead and get another concubine, but I don't have anybody available. So, do I have any prisoners <laughs> that are women? No. <laughs> Thankfully, I don't have to go down that road. Uh, can I get a hook on this guy? Let's, uh, see if I can use my hook for him to do something. Invite him to court. Uh-oh. Sinus marches up to me, hauling my son Dan by his ear. This dreaded child has been lying in wait around corners, wearing a wolf skin for a costume, only to jump out screaming, scaring the living daylights out of people. Okay. She'll lose 50 opinion of me. Everybody loses opinion of me. Dan, you'll need to be punished. You harass my son, you're exiled. <laughs> no thanks. I really profoundly do not care. They both lose opinion of me, but I gain prestige. I really, honestly, do not care. But Dan really likes me. I could punish him. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a little. Uh, I'm gonna get a little opinion boost with my my concubine here. Unfortunately. So now I've got this guy who does not like me in my court. <laughs> He's a known criminal. Okay. I could uh, demand his conversion. <clears throat> he says no. Okay. Oh, I could punish him. Wow. What was his crimes? Oh, he revolted against me. Oh, that's this guy. Oh. Interesting. Okay. I could punish him. Okay. Single combat. I do have my my dagger. My special dagger. The uh what's it called? The dagger of mighty prayer. Alright. Oh, it's right here in the text, okay. What does it give me? Intrigue and piety per night. Fantastic. Show you how to brandish a dagger. Okay. Medium increased to likelihood of success. Low increased to risk of injury. You'll get a high increase to likelihood of success. Very high risk of injury. Okay. All right. I'll show you how to brandish a dagger. <laughs> Okay. My dagger flows around Ernan like water, each strike chaining fluidly into the next. A series of perfectly timed attacks, bold with spear in hand, scum, screams my opponent, whirling his sword furiously at, around, and near me. My form is good with only small errors, and Ernan's stance is a disaster. I've yet to open up my opponent's guard at all and see no way yet to claim victory. Okay. Strike, parry, repost. I'm going to do it. Medium chance of injury. And I win. Ha <laughs> ha! I am victorious. Yes. 
hammering him into the ground with all the fury Tyr can lend me. Lend me. All right. Okay, so he's not dead, right? I am victorious. Oh. No, he was executed. Dang. I done killed him. Dang, son. Don't mess with me. I will kill you. All right. I can petition the leads to help me resolve the challenges I face. Oh. That's cool. I can also uh, go on a hunt. Who's this guy? A fellow vassal. Oh, I can gain prestige and legitimacy. Lose stress. Okay, I'm already a hunter, so. That'll be good, but I'm going to do that next time. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, be sure and hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.